Welcome back McFly subscribers. So this is what we're going to be tying today. It's a small little foam caddis fly. Honestly, I don't know the name of it. Everywhere I've seen online, they just call it a foam caddis fly. Could be the name for it. I did do a little variation to the original by putting a tuft of CDC there underneath the foam wing. I think that's really going to add to it, help it float a little better. So let's get tying it. So you want to place your hook securely in your vise and this is a really small little fly. So this is a size 20 dry fly hook. You can see uh, these are risen flies, barbless dry fly hooks, size 20. Okay, so that's what I'm tying with. They're really good hooks, by the way. I mean, for the money, there's you can't beat them. And for thread, I'm using Vivas 16 aught. You're gonna really want a really small thread for this. It'd be really difficult for you if you're tying something this small and anything really larger than this. So let's start the thread up little ways back from the eye of the hook here. You don't want to start right at the eye and you'll see why in a second. And we're just going to bring this thread all the way back to the start of the bend of the hook here. Okay, I'm going to make one wrap right past it to hold it. Next I've got this UV2 fine and dry dubbing. It's going to be hard for you guys to see this on camera, but um, fine and dry and the color I'm using is March Brown. I mean, it's kind of like a tan color So I recently went fishing here in Texas for some trout and they were hitting the top of the water and there was all these little mini tan caddis flies everywhere and I thought you know, I just didn't have a caddis a small caddis fly um, Dry fly on me and they were still hitting parachute atoms and stuff which is more of a mayfly, but um, it was tan, so I just wanted to tie something. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm tying it in tan, trying to match the hatch. So we dub on a little bit of this dubbing, really fine noodle here. Um, you don't want to go too thick, um, really almost like a touch dub, okay? And we're just going to make touching wraps up the hook with it, and then we're just building a little bit of a taper. And I'm going to need a little more. I don't like the way that sat there. Let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. There we go. Looking a little better. All right, let's get a little bit more of this. Again, we're using a small amount. You can see, I mean, it's just, you can barely see it with the naked eye. So we're going to go a little past the half of the, ah, I don't like that bump. It's hard to see without the camera. When I've got the camera, it's it's like pretty visible how much of a bump that is. All right, let's see. I just want to make this even, but I also want it to be nice and tapered. There we go. I think that'll work. Next, I've got one of these CDC Euler Puffs in tan. What I did was I wet it to kind of bring everything together and I already used it on the other one you can see it's got a flat edge to it you want to if it's the fresh one you just want to cut a little cut the tip off like that to make it nice and even after wetting it so we're going to turn that around right up by the top here Ugh. So we're going to turn that around and we're going to have the tip, the flattened off tip right up by the, the eye here. And we're going to do a pinch wrap like so. Now, if that's over the eye, you can pull this back slightly like so to kind of move that out of the eye. But mine looks pretty good. We'll just tie that in right to the back here, right up against that dubbing ball. And you want it directly on top. You don't want this you know, off to the side or anything. And then just to kind of remove it, we're going to go measure out to just shy of the back bend here. I find if I keep this wet for now, like so, it's going to make everything easier in a minute. All right, next I've got a piece of foam. It's two millimeter craft foam. 
and this isn't tan. However, that's too thick. You want to utilize a two millimeter flat. So we're going to cut this really thin. It's going to be hard for you guys to see this in camera. But I want to show you what I mean by this. All right, so as you can see, it's a rectangle, it's not a perfect square. And so we're actually, we cut this one millimeter roughly, maybe a millimeter and a half wide because the lengthwise here is the two millimeter. So we're just cutting right, right at the edge. And then I'm just gonna cut a little tiny notch in and it really helps to have some super fine point scissors for this. Since we're tying so small. Now, if you were tying this a little larger, you wouldn't have to worry about any of that, but there's the notch. By the way, the scissors I'm using is Risen's Mitten Scissors. I really like them. Uh, they're spring-loaded, so they stay open. And then you just got to squeeze them to close them. And they've got such a fine point. Really nice fine point tip. Now we're just going to rest that foam on top. You want it kind of, instead of straight on top, canted just slightly towards you. Because once you wrap, that's going to pull that over. And that'll make it sit perfectly on top. And then we're just going to do, we're going to make sure this is nice and even right on top. Make two wraps and then we can tighten it. And that's going to keep that from spinning as much. Still going to spin a little bit, but it's going to help. All right, clean all that up. It's a little bit too far back actually. Let's come back this way. There we go, I like that. And you can see we're barely capturing just the tip. And we wanna make sure that's directly on top. It's not twisted or anything. It does seem like it wants to twist there, that's okay. So I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna cut it off exactly the same length as that under fur. Next I've got this kind of barred ginger, but it's kind of a tan color. Uh, this is a size 20 hackle. And this is a saddle hackle, probably easier for most of you to get a size 20 off of your capes. All right, so what I did was I stripped off everything but the stem at the very bottom here. Now I made that a little too long, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that stem off because we don't have a lot of room we're working with here. And I'm gonna tie this in, I'm gonna rest it like so. We're gonna capture it once, I'm gonna come over it and kind of do like an X wrap there. And then we can wrap that the rest of that stem in. All right, good. We're gonna grab a little bit more of that same dubbing. We're gonna build that head just a little bit there. I want this fairly tight. And we're gonna work this up to right behind that wing. And come down and end right behind the hook eye. And kind of Set this back just slightly because I've noticed it wants to pop off that. All right, so now we're just gonna wrap this hackle. We're really only gonna get maybe two or three wraps of the hackle with it. So there's the third wrap. I'm gonna end on the bottom. I'm gonna bring, so what I do is I bring this thread underneath like that and then and then I wrap over it once and I come underneath once more. I pull everything rearward. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. And then I make a wrap over it. And now I can trim off the excess stem here. We're just going to sweep everything rearward. Wrap back just slightly on that hackle to keep everything off the eye. And now we can whip finish the fly. And then usually once I whip finish, take my fingernails and I kind of pinch right behind that eye and kind of yank. That'll really seat that knot. Of course, once that CDC dries, that'll puff out quite a bit. All right. And that got kind of twisted on top there, didn't it? Let's see. 
you can kind of work it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to make mine as nice as possible. So next I've got this Solarez Ultra Thin, and it comes with a handy little paintbrush, but we're not gonna use that because this is way too small. So what I do is I take a needle and I get a little bit on the needle. I just wipe that right on the whip finish there and then just cure it with your UV light and fly is now finished. And of course, make sure you don't get any in the eye of the hook. Pretty sure I did not. Let's see, I've got a little piece of wire here. See if that goes through and it does. So, yep, nope, I didn't get it in the eye. So there we go. Now, you could fish it just like this. You wanna fancy it up. This is honestly, I'm not sure is necessary, but you can cut a little notch in there. It's a little bit difficult to do. It's such a small fly. I've seen some people do it online. I thought it looked good, but it might not be worth it. I'm honestly not sure it matters. Well, I kind of butchered that, didn't I, guys? Like I said, it might not be worth it. I did an okay job at that one, kind of. I messed that one up a little bit. Oh well. But you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, there we go, guys. There is the finished foam CDC caddis. And I think this is going to work really well at that spot. I mean, it's about the right size. This is about how small they were. Maybe they were a little smaller. But I mean, I don't think those trout are going to be measuring them. And they were tan. They were, they were this color. This is perfect for them. It might have been slightly darker, but we've got... We got some dark hackle on there and whatnot, so I think this is going to really fool those trout. If you haven't already, please check out my sponsor, Riz and Fly. They were the ones that made the hooks that I used today, and also the scissors. Um, they also sell rods and reels and a whole bunch of really great stuff for fly fishing. Pretty much anything you need to fly fish, they've got it there. And they also have really good prices for such good quality. I mean, these are really good hooks, and they're like $4.50 for 25 of them. I think it depends on the size and what kind of hook. So, I mean, give or take a little bit, but still they're better priced than you can find almost anywhere um, for quality hooks. Now, of course you can get cheaper hooks, but they're gonna bend on you. They're not good quality. These are nice and strong. Um, I mean, it's hard to even bend these. Um, they're super duper sharp, um, just really good quality hooks. And the rods and reels are just amazing quality. Um, I fish with them exclusively and uh, they're way better than some rods that are two or three times the money and best off they're offering a discount by the way for all of my subscribers so if you type in mcfly at checkout you'll get 15 percent off of your first order with them that includes hooks and rods and reels and scissors or whatever else that you guys buy at their shop basically your first order with them load up your shop get a whole bunch of stuff and you'll get 15 percent off check them out i think you'll really like them there's the fly thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.